Well, hey there, good looking. Mm -mm, no, no, that is you. Mm -mm. Where are you going looking like you're about to snatch someone's man up? Well, I actually was at my dad's luncheon. I thought you were coming. Oh, man, that was today, wasn't it? Shelly, I thought you said you were going to let me know. <sighs> yeah, it's all good. I don't really like being around people anyway, so. Yeah. Now I know how you are. Mm-hmm. So, what are you doing? Well, you know me. Writing per usual. But uh, I'm taking a break now because I feel like my head is about to explode. <laughs> um, yes, Aaron, step away from the computer. <laughs> you are your own worst critic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look. Just hurry up and finish, though, because I want to read it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Mm, do you need any help? Well, not on this. But uh, now that you mention it, I am feeling a little sore. And I could really use a massage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... I mean, what happened to the whole Strictly Friends after this thing? I think I heard you say that. Okay, well, I was going to go to our little uh, spot in NoHo and set an appointment. But it sounds like you offering, bestie. And if you offering, I'm taking. Because it's not every day you get a famous massage from uh, the princess of media. God, that was one little article and you are never going to let me let that down. Mm -mm, nope, not never. Your Highness, excuse me, Your Highness. Well, is it gonna be your place or mine? Oh wait, is Tony there? Because he's gonna want us to hang out and I got an early morning tomorrow. Nah, he ain't here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it looks like we spoke him up uh, because he's calling me right now. Uh, I'll just call him back later. Um, no, he just called me first. <laughs> that boy. Hmm. So I'm thinking I could come over to your place. You know, I haven't left the house all day and I definitely need to get out. You know, I need to, uh, I could use a good stretch. Stretch my legs, that is, of course. You know, oh. get some blood circulating. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> look, <laughs> look. Um, what time are you thinking? Because I could make us dinner. Okay, Chelly Belly, you throwing down? Okay. All right, my lucky day. I'll take it. Um, what about nine? If that ain't too late. I'm thinking I'll be done writing by then and I'll bring the pages so you can read them over. Nine's good. That sounds good. I mean, that's not too late. Okay, cool, cool. You know what? I'm feeling really bad that I didn't go to your dad's luncheon. All right, you know, I'm just calling him tomorrow. I'm gonna call Mr. Banks tomorrow and just apologize. Look, don't worry about that. Look, you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, just finish writing that amazing script and I will keep rubbing elbows. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that's because you uh, rub them so well. Uh, bye, Aaron. What? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what to Aaron. do with them elbows. What? <laughs> bye. <sighs> I will see you tonight. Okay. All right. You sure will. Hmm. <laughs> Ah. What, Cordell? Look, I know you mad at me. Janelle, I don't know what else to do or say to make you believe me. Look, Princess is exaggerating. Look, she miserable. She wants you to be miserable too. Yeah, I don't really want to hear that right now, Cordell. <clears throat> Like, well, did you take some of my stuff from the house last night? What stuff? I don't know. It just looked like some of my stuff was missing. I don't know. Maybe ask your business friend. Has, has she been in my house? Of course. Of course not. Janelle, look, I don't know why you making such a big deal about you getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, I don't know why anyone would get worked up over getting cheated on. Baby, seriously? Look, I'm here at my mama house. As you can see, we eating good. You over here yelling at me. Like, yo, I'm gonna be here for a couple days just until you calm down. Like, girl, woosah. Cardella, there's no need. Just go home. 
Like, I am at my grandmother's house and I'm going to just be here until I find a better man. When that's actually going to be faithful to me. Hey, D. Hey, sweetie. I'm so sorry about all of this. I wanted to give you some space. Um, how are you holding up? I feel better, that's for sure. Oh my God. Uh, Drew keeps saying we shouldn't get involved, but how can I not feel responsible when you met him through us? Cordell is right. Cordell has grown and responsible for his own decisions. I mean, he decided to have a chick up in his car that he swears it was just business, but when I ask to talk to her, he keeps saying that I make the both of us look stupid. Mm-hmm. Deflecting and circumventing. Classic Dell. Don't fall for that. Honestly, I don't know what to believe. I mean, he said that Princess saw them and overreacted, and Princess said that she swears that girl was all up on him. So, I don't I know. I mean, I'm not a Princess fan by a long shot, but that's your girl. She could be messy, but she's got your back. I would trust her judgment. Yeah, well, there's definitely two sides of the story, but both of them involve Princess <laughs> driving in her car and following them all the way down to Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Has he called yet? Girl, yes, that's him calling me right now and I'm ignoring it. <laughs> and he's not even calling to make it right. When I left last night, I got a garbage bag and filled with all his favorite stuff. Oh my god, Janelle, like what? Girl, his little stupid basketball trophies from college that he's obsessed with. I hear you. I don't get it. Drew has his old basketball trophies in our bedroom. I'm asking for his mom to... Ugh, can't wait for her to ask for them back. What else did you mm, take? A favorite pair of his retro Jordans and... The one gift that he got me in all the three years that we've been together. What are you going to do with it? Honestly, I don't know. I was just so mad that, like, we've been through this before. And he talked me into taking him back. So I just, I don't know if I'm going to burn it or throw it on the highway. I don't know. It's just. I can't blame you, sis. Um but if you want, I can come pick you up. We can go get ice cream or some drinks or something. Anything you want. Oh, well, Prince is on her way, but I mean, you could meet us for drinks if you want. Um, you two go ahead. Um, as long as Prince has got you, I just, I want to finish up this proposal so I can get it to Terrence on Monday. Okay, well, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Always. Yeah, man, no, that's, <laughs> it's crazy, because now it's trickling into my household. Wait. <laughs> hey, this is Dana right now, man. I'll call you back. Hey, queen. Hey, uh, how was the game? I had to toss a Karen out. Got too up close and personal. I don't like that, you know what I'm saying? But it was all right. How's that proposal going? Uh, it's all right. I'm just frustrated right now. I already know. They gave us the shortest month of the year, just a smack in the face. Not only that, the shortest chapters in the history books. Yeah, it's like three tops, chapter one, bondage. Yep, and it's all watered down as if it wasn't the enslavement of our people. Putting the same folks in the same books, Harriet Tubman. Frederick Douglass, if you're lucky. <laughs> then chapter two, what, maybe the Montgomery bus boycott? Yep, got MLK, Rosa Parks. If they bother to mention Malcolm, they make it seem like he was the opposite of peace and pit them against one another. Final chapter, Jesse Jackson. Uh, 
<laughs> At least the new books will have Obama. Oh, oh, thank God. So it sounds like you're getting through it, though. I definitely can't wait to check it out when I get in. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm adding everything that I know. All the unsung black heroes with pictures and quotes. Mm, and okay, everything. I see you. I see it like this, though. Let's say they don't accept the proposal for whatever reason. You can always just write yourself a book. Like a children's book. Like a children's book. You're so cute. Children's book, novel, autobiography, ain't no limits. You got this, queen. I like the way you think. Forward. That's how I think. Yeah. Um, but nothing like your boy Dell, who, by the way, has my friend at her grandma's house in tears right now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but it's crazy. So, who uh -uh. is she? Who is this woman? You know that's a technical foul. We don't do that, okay? You need to stay out there business. That's their business, D. I mean, y'all were all at the bar when Princess got there. She saw him with this skank, and that's how Janelle found out. Yeah, I mean, I was there. I saw Princess, and I spoke to her. But other than that, I was at the bar minding my business, <sighs> painfully watching my Rams lose to the Panthers. <sighs> and it was a close game too, babe. I mean, gosh, dog. I shouldn't be watching the NFL anyway. I know that, and I really tried, but good Lord knows sports is my kryptonite. I know, I was there watching you go through withdrawals, calling yourself protests in the preseason game and caving two minutes after kickoff. Uh, uh, but however, I did make everybody kneel at that bar during the national anthem. Mm -hmm. That's right, baby. I'm just, I don't know. I just, I don't know how you can be friends with someone who's a womanizer. Like, it would be so much easier for me to trust you if you didn't keep such bad company. I know, but I know I get it. But you got to realize Dell and I have been bros since college. You know, that man's personal business has always been his personal business. And honestly, I've been saying this. I steady say it like you got to stay out of it, you know, because what's going to happen is they're going to end up getting back together. And when they do and you're not being supportive, you're going to look like that judgmental negative friend that nobody like. And I know that's not you, D. I know. I know. Well, look, all is well. I'm going to be home soon. I'm just finishing up a little work here at Mom's. Stop stressing about Janelle, though, okay? Finish that proposal. And definitely, most importantly, have my dinner on that table. You're funny. Um, since you're on that side of town, you can pick me up something from Comfort LA, okay? Oh, of course, queen. All right. I'll see you when you get home, babe. Hey, Money, what's good, man? Yo, what's up, bro? Nothing. Look, man, I'm at this pool party in Calabasas. Bro, you got to pull up. Ah, come on now, Tony. I don't even really do crowds like that, bro. Okay, man, look. Well, me and a couple of fellas, we going to head down to Hollywood a little later. Uh, nah, bro. I got myself a little something, something going on tonight. So, count me out. Okay, so <sighs> where we going? Nah, it's not that kind of party, bro. Okay. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, excuse me. My bad, player. Anybody I know? Nah. Um, but what about... Let, let's just do something tomorrow. Bet. Yeah, me and a couple of guys are going to go play ball, so... Tony, come on, bro. You know that ain't my scene. That is true. Very true. I don't know. Let's hit the gym. Let's do that. Ah, uh, see about the gym yeah man they fired me but um they didn't say i can't come back in there so bro you did not tell me you got fired from the gym 
Yeah, that's probably because you just gonna lecture me about the rent. But look, you know me, man. I already got something else lined up. Okay, well, that's good. Hold up. Why'd you get fired, Tony? Okay, look, they are strict, man. They, they fired me over the membership profiles. So basically, all I did was go on the membership profile and get some of the girls' numbers. Then the manager fired me. Like, no warning. Just fired me. Yeah, right. So the gym definitely won't work. Um, well, you know, we could always do 2K at the crib. You know what, man? That sounds like a great idea. But, um, yeah, you have a good night, okay? Hey, I sure will. <laughs> Hello, may I speak to Nicole Allen? This is she. Oh, hi Nicole, this is Terrence Blackwell, interim principal at Armstrong Elementary School. Oh, hi Mr. Blackwell. Call me Terrence, we aren't too formal around here. Well, not while I'm in charge anyway. But for now, it's a temporary standing in as principal, unless they decide to make it permanent. Oh, well, congratulations Terrence. Look, the reason I'm calling is to officially welcome you to Armstrong. We're just starting out the school year, so I'd like to get to know a little bit about my new staff members. Maybe even link you with a seasoned teacher if you need some support. I know it's your first year teaching, correct? Yes, and I'm so excited. So we are excited to have you. First graders are so fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What traits would you say make you an ideal first grade teacher? Well, I am super punctual and reliable, professional, and passionate about education. Mm, yes, those are much needed traits. Well, I'm an actress too in my spare time, so I love the arts. So I bring that with me too. Okay, that's nice. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I started out teaching first grade too, but that was seven years ago. I moved on to administration for the last two years, and I love it. That's wonderful. Well, look, uh, look I don't want to hold you up. I just wanted to let you know that we're here to support and looking forward to a great academic year with you. Thanks so much, and I'm so excited. <laughs> we look forward to having you at Armstrong. Talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, mom. Babe, we have reservations. We have to go. Hey, sweetheart. You having fun at Aunt Helen's? I am. Can you stay another night, please? Of course. We were going to come pick you up after our date, but now we don't have to sit in traffic on Ventura. I'm supervising the installation of Aunt Helen's smart doorbell. And they're upgrading to a smart refrigerator and smart light throughout the house. Huh. <sighs> it's going to take at least another day. Whose idea was this? I may have mentioned that I could keep track of her inventory and let her know when her good dogs rang. Plus, who wouldn't want to turn their lights off from their phone? I told her about the many times you and Dad have forgotten to turn their lights off and went to work all day. Isn't that why we have to switch to smart lighting? Okay, I know, sweetheart, but your pet project shouldn't cost your auntie thousands of dollars, though. It's gonna save her time and money in the long run. Speaking of that, do you know the for sale sign at the stores on the corner? Yeah, I saw it when we drove by. I want Miss Roberts to move there. I think it'd make a great start home for her and the family should start one day. I sent her a picture and told her it's never too early to start planning for your future. Good investment, right? Daddy. But maybe she should hold off. I hear the stewards are getting divorced. Miss Robert doesn't need a little bad vibe in their new home. But this is a great neighborhood. I know she can find something close to us. 
Okay, look, sweetheart, I have to go. Mama is late. Please stop gossiping, and I'm sure Miss Roberts has her life figured out, though it's very sweet of you to care. She's the best, and Mom, it's not gossip if it's true. I fact-checked it. Mr. Stewart filed for divorce on June 12th. You know in California there are two grounds of no-fault divorce, irreconcilable differences and incurable insanity. I've seen this story in action. I'm willing to bet it's the latter. Anyway, you and Dad have fun okay, tonight. Bye. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hey, boo. I'm just, girl, I'm just coming in. <laughs> Them dudes was buying me shots after shot, girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I left early. I just, I wasn't feeling it. You okay? I was just checking in on you. You seem so sad at the bar earlier. Yeah, I'm just kind of numb right now. Cortel's been calling me all day and he swears it was business. Are you sure that it was a chick he was messing with or could it really just have been business? Uh, yeah, girl, I'm sure. <laughs> and what business would she have in your car anyway? True. And what? Why wouldn't he just ask you to tell you about it? Well, he said that she was a colleague, and even though he was there with his boys, which I know that's true because Dana's husband was there too. Yeah, I saw him. He was just chilling watching the game. But I also saw that same chick in the same section by the bar most of the night, so she and her friends could have easily met down there. Well, yeah, that's not what he said. He said that he knew her from being a comedy promoter and that she looked like she had too much to drink, and she was alone, so he just offered her a ride home. And then you saw them in a the car together and you freaked out. Okay, the way he lies at the drop of a dime is actually quite impressive, but I know you're not falling for that. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> well, he won't even let me talk to her, and until he does, I'm just gonna be here at my grandma's house. <laughs> no, why don't you just come stay with me? Wait, really? Yeah, it'll be fun. We can braid each other's hair. Uh, and cry about the losers we love because girl jordan's no better so all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it Let's see if cordell can get it together mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no 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 i will be there first in the morning to help you move out your stuff because girl you wasted enough time okay i mean oh, you could do so much better like i ain't gonna be a broke cheater no no, his time is up. I will see you in the morning, Nellie, okay? My man Van, what's good, bro? Am I looking at a ghost, bro? Is that Dale? What's up with you, baby? How you doing, man? Yo, I seen better days, man, but you know we keep pushing, big dog. Yo, I've been trying to link with you. Oh, yeah? So when the next time Hollywood coming all the way back to D.C.? <laughs> Yo, soon, bro. I got some things I'm cooking up. I promise you, it'll be soon. Um, but, yo, reason why I wanted to holler at you was because I see your YouTube going crazy right now, bro. Crazy. Whole time, that's why I wanted to holler at you because... Wanted to see if you maybe, you know, look out for your boy, do a reaction video to one of my comedy acts I've been working on. <laughs> Did you say comedy, man? I don't do no comedy, bro. I do daggone rap. I do mainly Eminem. I do R&B. I'm starting to move into some rock and some K-pop. But I don't, I don't know about no comedy, bro. I don't know about no comedy. Man, man see, <laughs> see, Van, see, that's why I got you, bro. See, this is why I'm suggesting that you dive into comedy because this will expand your audience, bro. See, I'm telling you. Plus, on top of that, I've been working on heat. Heat, bro. I'm talking straight. Fire! <laughs> I've been seeing your videos. Hit the button. Hit the button, dog. It's there we go. It's Fire, I'm telling you, bro. I all I, I need a platform though. I've been working, I've been grinding. I'm talking about grinding, man. I need the platform. Hopefully help me get on one of these comedy tours or something. Like I just this my year, man. It's my year, bro. I promise you this my year. Hey man, you keep me smiling, man. You keep me laughing. You always have been, bro. I I don't know, man. You always saying this is my year though, bro. 
What what makes this year different, man? Yo, it's <laughs> you. I just I need that trust, baby. That's it. That's that's all I need. That's it. As long as long as you put me on the platform, you know I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna deliver like Amazon, baby. Come on. Check this out. Because you know how you know you out on the block and you claim to be the best rapper on the block. They say let's do something right now. So you what you got? You got something right now you can do? Uh. <laughs> Uh, of course, baby. Of course, yo. You know I stay with it. <laughs> um. Uh, uh. Uh. Yo. So, yo. This is a little something I've been working on. You know, it's. Uh, I'm still fleshing it out. Just you know, bear with me. Uh, but you know, uh, check this out, right? <clears throat> uh, uh, fellas. <laughs> uh, yo, I got a question for you. How many of y'all been caught cheating? Mm-hmm. See, you can tell who guilty looking around the room because they trying not to make eye contact with their girl right now. They looking straight ahead like, what did you do? <laughs> Probably make for some awkward car rides home tonight. But, uh, fellas, I need to get this off my chest. I'm sorry. I need I needs to get this off my chest. Um, I would advise you not to play dumb and act like you don't know how this random girl got into your crib. When you get caught, cause uh, yeah, that ain't really working for me right now. But uh, I got two words for you: two. Role play. Role play, baby. I'm talking role. I'm talking. As soon as your side piece say she wanna come through, tell her, okay, baby. You know what? I want you to come dressed up like a burglar. I'm talking mask on like future, baby. I'm talking, <laughs> yo. I uh so. Van, that's that's the furthest I got with it, bro. But yo, I'm I'm ironing it out. It's gonna be hot. I'm telling you, I just I need the platform, bro. Just give me give me a week. That's it. Give me a couple of days. I'm gonna iron out the whole set, bro. I just I need your help, dog. I'm, I ain't even gonna. Lie. I need your help, bro. I needs it. Hey, man, I love what you said at the end right there, man. You said you're gonna iron out the whole set, huh? Well, sir. You all, I always been taught by my grandmother that iron shop is iron, and you know what? We gonna go ahead and do it, man. You funny, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Guy, thank you. Thank you, bro. Yo, next time I'm in DC, make sure your mama got them crabs ready. I'm talking old bay. All of that. I need the vinegar. All of that. <laughs> hey, as long as you bring the dip, homie, man. Hey, look. <laughs> I got to go ahead and finish recording, man. I'm going to holler at you a little later, Charlie. All right, yo. Yo, peace, bro. All right, peace. <laughs>